Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Christian Monaghan back here. Excited to bring you yet another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about letting God reignite some fires within you, some passion within you, some desires for some of the gifts and some of the talents that he's given you that we've maybe had some bad experiences with that maybe we use for a different purpose. And now it's kind of just on the shelf collecting dust. I believe that in this time and in the season, God wants to take some of those. God wants to insert his Holy Spirit into those things and bring revival to them so that we can better serve the Lord with them, build his kingdom. And so we can be encouraged by that and so that the Lord can use those things to minister to us. So this sermon today is all about reigniting or reusing. It's almost like a re-gifting, using the talents that God has given you, some of the ones that you have used before, again. In the Bible, in 1 Peter 4 verse 10, it says, each of you should use the gifts that you've been given to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. What this scripture speaks to essentially is using whatever gifts and whatever talents you have received from God, whatever the Holy Spirit has graced you in, whatever God has graced you in, using those to serve other people, using those and using them because you have grace in those things. I'm talking about maybe things like music, things like helping or serving others. You know, the, the ability to love and serve others in a very unique way and make people feel special is a gift within itself. What I'm trying to say is that God has given all of us very unique things in our life. And some of those things we have either ignored because we haven't had the time, because we didn't want to do it or invest, or we used to do it and we got hurt doing it or someone took advantage of that gift, whatever it may be. The point is that we have these things and we're not using them. What I want to encourage everybody to do today, and just because the Lord has challenged me on this in my own personal life, is to pick those things up once again, pray over them, allow a process of healing to happen. Ask God to help you use those and steward those wisely and correctly. And ask God to help use it for His glory to bring you peace and comfort and encouragement while you're doing that. There are plenty of great examples about the sort of thing I'm talking about. Once again, from music, it could be like a musical instrument. Maybe you play the drums, maybe you play the piano. Maybe you're really good at like coming up with beats and producing music. And you know this, but you haven't invested enough time to really get good at it. Maybe you're an exceptional athlete naturally. And if you worked at it, you could be really, really good. Uh, there are a variety of things that are unique to your personality, that are unique to your character, that God has placed within each and every one of us, that in this season right now, he wants us to wipe the dust off, to take off of the shelf, to apply, to get really good at it. And I believe that this is gonna be for multiple reasons, not only the development and the skill and not only serving God, but for dedication, for commitment. I believe that the Lord is gonna use these gifts and these talents to teach us certain things and to do certain things within our spirit that we can't get any other way. For example, if you wanna practice guitar, that requires commitment and loyalty to that instrument. That requires you taking out the time every day, and setting that time apart to do something and to upskill yourself. If it's sports related, that means getting fit, getting healthy, getting strong, staying on, on, on a regime. That means commitment to whatever it is you're doing. That means being good with your eating. That means watching uh, how you exercise and what kind of exercises you do, which will teach you how to be committed. It means going to bed early. It will give you structure, it'll give you a schedule. The Lord will have his grace in your life regarding this aspect. One of, uh, uh, one of the other reasons that I think that we all need to get better at this is because you have no idea what your gifts and talents could unlock for you in the future. You don't know what relationships will open up because of that. You don't know what opportunities will open up because of that. You also don't know the impact that it will have in your life. Even if you don't do it forever, there are things that you're gonna be able to take away from that time that you spent investing in that talent or that gift will serve you in different parts of your life. Best example I can give you is I used to swim competitively and I used to swim a lot. I used to swim many, many hours a week. I would train in the morning and I'd also train in the afternoon. I don't do it. I, I, I don't swim to that extent anymore and I don't compete anymore. But some of the lessons that I learned in that season and in that time, which spanned uh, just over six years, I am still using today in my academics and university. In my, in my prayer life with God, my relationship with Jesus. I'm still using that commitment, that loyalty, that dedication to one thing, working hard. And I'm using it for the glory of God. The way that you can do this, the way that you can approach what I'm saying 
is by simply going to God and asking him the specific thing. Go to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you that I have talents and abilities. Lord, I thank you that I have talents and abilities, abilities that I haven't even discovered yet, that I don't even know are within me. Lord, I pray that you help reveal those things to me every single day. Lord, give me the passion and desire to be able to cultivate those things, to be able to upskill in those things so that I can use them for your glory. And Lord, I ask that your hand be on that. Let there be a grace on that. And the Lord will help you. I want to end this lesson by reminding you how unique and special you are and that God has placed very, very cool things within you. God wants to draw those things out of you. And we as people need to ask God to do that and God will help us to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna end the lesson today by helping you guys to pray over these specific things. And you can pray the prayer that we're about to pray together. Lord, we wanna thank you that you have given us unique talents, gifts, and abilities. We ask, Lord, that you draw those things out of us and that you help us to develop them and use them for your glory. We know, Father, that you are almighty and all powerful and will give us the desire and passion to be able to do this. Thank you, Father, that you are gonna give us the capacity and capability to develop these and Lord that these gifts will encourage us and Lord if there are gifts and talents in our lives that we used to apply that don't anymore we ask Lord that you heal that that you heal the lost gifts and talents help us to revive them we thank you Lord that you alone can give us the capability Lord to have new passion regarding a gift that you've given us we thank you Lord that you alone have the ability to redeem the broken things in our lives even if those are gifts and talents that you've given us. Lord, whether we have squandered those gifts or ignored them completely, we know that you will bring supernatural revival to them. We thank you for this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, guys, that's it for the lesson. I hope you enjoyed and had a good takeaway. I love you and I'll see you next week.